Did you know that peanut butter can be turned into diamonds? Shocked? Watch the video until the end to learn the secret of turning peanut butter into diamonds while exploring the history and production process of Jif Creamy Peanut Butter. From sourcing, cleaning, and roasting peanuts to the packaging of the creamy ground and blended peanut spread, the process ensures quality at every step. But how did it all start? In 1955, Procter & Gamble P &G, purchased Big Top Peanut Butter along with its manufacturing facilities in Lexington, Kentucky. The company aimed to compete with the top peanut butter manufacturers, Skippy and Peter Pan. The Big Top brand introduced creamy and smooth peanut butter, but it experienced difficulty in competing with other established peanut butter brands like Skippy. In its hydrogenation process, P&G chose to use oils other than peanut butter and sweetened the mixture by including molasses and sugar. The new product was publicly introduced in April 1956. In 1958, Procter & Gamble decided to rebrand Big Top Peanut Butter as Jif. The name change was a marketing strategy to help renew the product and make it stand out in the crowded peanut butter market. The name Jif was chosen because it was easy to remember and pronounce, making it a catchy and friendly brand name. The original creamy and crunchy style Jif peanut butters made their nationwide debut in 1958. Jif's popularity started to grow steadily during the 1960s and 1970s. In 1974, the J.M. Smucker Company, a well-known American manufacturer of fruit spreads and other food products, acquired the Jif brand from Procter & Gamble. Over the years, Jif continued to refine its product and became synonymous with smooth and creamy peanut butter. They also introduced various flavors, catering to different consumer preferences. Jif's marketing campaigns featuring memorable slogans like Choosy Moms Choose Jif further enhanced its brand recognition and popularity. Extra Crunchy Jif was introduced in 1974, followed by Simply Jif, peanut butter with low sodium and less sugar than regular Jif in 1991. Reduced Fat Jif hit the markets three years later in 1994. Today, there are 10 different kinds of Jif peanut butter. Creamy, extra cunt, extra crunchy, no sugar added creamy, simply Jif creamy, low sodium and sugar, omega-3 creamy, reduced fat creamy, natural creamy, natural honey creamy, natural crunchy, coffee creamy. Jif is currently the best-selling peanut butter brand in the United States, with a market share of over 34%. It generates nearly five million U.S. dollars worth of revenue for J.M. Smucker Company annually. Reportedly, Americans consume approximately 300 million pounds of Jif annually. It is also the most popular peanut butter brand in Canada and Mexico. Let's explore how America's most favorite peanut butter is made. Strict quality control measures are implemented throughout the production to ensure the peanut butter meets Jif's standards. Samples are regularly taken from each batch and tested for taste, texture, and safety. This helps to maintain consistent quality and ensures that only the best products reach the consumers. Step number one, peanut sourcing. One out of 10 peanuts grown in the US for food use ends up in Jif peanut butter. Jif uses the best quality peanuts, the runner peanuts, to produce its peanut butter which it sources from growers in the United States and Canada. Runner peanuts are known for their high yields, unique taste, and uniform size. The company claims to source peanuts from family-owned and operated farms associated with the American Peanut Council from farms in Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, and Florida. The peanuts are carefully inspected for quality and maturity particularly size and color, before being shipped to the Jif manufacturing plant and discarded if they are not up to the standard. Step number two, harvesting. Peanuts are planted in the USA peanut belt from April through May after the last frost. These are the ideal months for growing peanuts when the soil reaches the required temperature for peanut growth, 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius, and the humidity is about 50 to 70 percent. Once planted, peanuts will take nearly 140 to 150 days, around four to five months, before they are ready to be harvested. 
Harvesting starts in the fall during September and October, even into November. After harvesting, peanuts are sent to a storage area or directly transported to the buyers. Step number three, cleaning. At the manufacturing plant, the peanuts are cleaned to remove dirt, debris, or foreign material. Cleaning is done using various methods, including air blowing, water washing, and screening. Step number four, peanut shelling. The outer shell of peanuts are removed by mechanical and steam shelling. Step number five, roasting. The shelled peanuts are blown through a stream of air, which separates the skins from the kernels. The kernels are then roasted at a high temperature to develop their flavor and aroma in a large rotating drum at a temperature of 325 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, around 160 to 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or until they reach the desired level of browning. The continuous rotation of the drum allows the peanuts to be evenly roasted and prevents them from burning. Step number six, cooling. After roasting, the peanuts are cooled to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly 40 degrees Celsius, to prevent them from over drying and preserve their flavor. Step number seven, grinding. The cooled peanuts are ground into a smooth paste using continuous milling. The peanuts pass through a series of rollers that gradually grind them into a finer consistency. The first rollers are relatively coarse, and they grind the peanuts into a rough paste. The paste is then passed through a series of finer rollers, which gradually grind it into a smooth and creamy consistency. Step number eight, blending. The peanut paste is then blended with other ingredients, such as salt, sugar, and hydrogenated vegetable oil to achieve the desired flavor and texture of the peanut butter. Passing the paste through different mixers ensures even distribution of oils and emulsifiers. Step number nine, homogenization. To further improve the texture and prevent the separation of oils, the peanut butter goes through a homogenization process. This involves subjecting the peanut butter to high pressure, forcing the oil droplets to mix uniformly with the peanut solids. Step number 10, packaging. The blended peanut butter is then packaged into jars or tubs by automatic filling machines. From here, the conveyor belts transfer them to the sealing stations where the lid placers tightly cap the jars or tubs. The jars or tubs are then labeled and shipped to stores. Now, this peanut butter is ready to be spread on your bread or used as a topping and better yet, turned into a diamond. How? Peanut butter can be transformed into diamonds by simulating the conditions found in Earth's mantle. This requires heating the peanut butter to around 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly 2000 degrees Celsius, and applying pressure of over 5 million pounds per square inch, around 35 million kilopascals. At these extreme conditions, the carbon bonds in the peanut butter break down and reform into diamonds. The process of converting peanut butter into diamonds was first developed by a team of German scientists led by Dan Frost. Frost was studying how diamonds are formed in the Earth's mantle when he realized that peanut butter contains all the necessary ingredients for diamond formation. So, how excited are you to buy your favorite Jif Creamy peanut butter now that you know it is more than just your average breakfast spread? What if different Jif peanut butter varieties can make different types of diamonds? Natural Honey Cream is my favorite variant of Jif Creamy peanut butter. What's yours? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this episode. Hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.